So I was gonna say, uh, before we pull up uh, Javen's uh, campaign, or as you, maybe as you're doing that, Keith, do you want to give like a basic like elevator pitch to the audience of uh, Brood Blood? Yeah, that'd be great. Or just kind of give them an idea of what, you know, yeah, what the yeah. Story let's see is. how your pitching game is, Javen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word, a salesmanship. That's yes, how it gets me. Okay, That's really yeah. cool. 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 Mur- a Mur- bit of fantasy tale too. It's like mm-hmm. fantasy thriller. Yeah, I like that. Plus, murder is big. That mashup often. Do you, can you do like uh, a, a like a, a pop culture pairing? It's it's this thing meets this thing. Uh, oh, yeah, I've tried idea. murder. She wrote and I I feel like I don't know enough pop culture to do that. You know, like this is the thing that like I I try to look for it and can't find, and so I don't know like what two things to put together, but. I'm working Charms on that. And, uh, Probably by the sure. next one, I'll know what it is. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> I am. Um, well, maybe yeah. we can find it out for you when we look at the campaign. That would be very helpful yeah. if you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. for you. Yeah. And I feel like um, your pitch could be fine tuned a little more. Like I, mm-hmm. I would, I would get into more like the story, like the story aspects, and less about how it's going to lead into other graphic novels. You can do that after. But I think the way you get, most people check out after like what uh, thirty seconds listening, you know, yeah, like sure. and that's if you're going to be behind a table at a convention or pitching to a which publisher, you, you know, you'd want to think about that. Yeah, I think yeah, just for the sake a... of giving us context, that was fine. Yeah, yeah definitely, okay. definitely. And I don't mean it as a slight. I just trying to help, oh, yeah. you know, like help you refine it a little bit, you know. Yeah, right, I think, I think once you figure out what the two uh, two shows are, we can. You'll have a good a that might out. help. Yeah, we'll start with that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I, I feel like you could almost work in like Sherlock Holmes there somewhere because it's like a murder uh-huh. mystery. Yeah, it's like it's primarily like, uh, murder mystery. So you, you know, know, like, like I always like to tell people when I'm pitching "Surrounded by Death," it's like flavors. It's like the flavors "Surrounded by Death," "Surrounded by Death" is Mall Rats meets The Walking Dead. So, like, if you you awesome. know, you get exactly what to expect, like tone wise, from mm-hmm. that pitch. I don't yeah. have to say any more. You know exactly what to expect. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And like, um, yeah, simple, I think, is better. Like, so if you could try to figure out how to sum up that entire story in like three sentences, I think it mm-hmm. will help you a lot. Like Doctor Strange meets Elf. You know, we're not one of those. Yeah. Well, you the can potion that, or, stuff, or like or al- you, that's like alchemy. Just... You know, I'm thinking right. like. I'm trying to think okay, of like yeah. pop culture things with alchemy in it. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Like Full Metal Alchemist. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay, yeah. Sure. Like it's kind. Of, I guess it is kind of like that, huh? Yeah. yeah you could like ways. look. To Are you anime. an anime fan? Is there uh, inspiration? I, would, I wouldn't call myself that, but um, it does have like I want it to feel like anime and fantasy, and we kind of like mix them together. You know? Is so, um. Are, are there any, um, you know, uh, stories or pop culture th- things that inspired Brood Blood that might help you drill down into what it might be like? Um, well, why don't we watch the campaign? Maybe we can figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right. yeah. Not right off the bat. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, all right. Is the thriller portions very adult, like, or is uh, it like a no, is it an all ages kind of book? It's like PG thirteen, you know. So. Oh, okay, all right. So all gonna right. be like like fun, not like super gory, you know. Okay. All right. A couple of comments before we bring up the campaign. Uh, Diane says elevator pitches take practice. That's for, for sure. damn sure. Yeah, I'm sure. still sure tweaking do. mine, you know, even at conventions sure and do. stuff. Um, and then Dr. Mass said, or for a video, keep it short and sweet. That's, mm, that's sure. definitely yeah. true. So like your, post. your uh, campaign video should not, I think shouldn't be longer than a minute because yeah. people mm-hmm. check out after what, 15 seconds or so they say. Yeah, you know, I, attention I, yeah. spans today's audience. You know, I, I keep I keep mine under two minutes and put all the most important stuff in the first thirty seconds. Yeah, that's that's a good way to go, Tony. That way, at least they see the important stuff. Yeah. If you want to go a little longer, you know, um, she said, "My Amy, Amy PG thirteen, clutch my pearls." <laughs> that's great. All right, so let's take a look at. The-